I'm gonna show you how to assemble a Kia Trotten driver unit on the wheels. You can have it in a black or white, in our case we have it in a white. Let's do it. And you're getting one box with this IKEA Trotten unit with the three drawers on the wheels. Just gonna open everything quickly so you can see what you're gonna work with. You're gonna have one bag of screws. I like to organize them, then I have a better idea what I'm working with. You're gonna have four different types of screws. They're quite similar, so just pay attention which screw going where. Position side panel exactly as I have it here. You see those opening. One side is straight, one side have slight curve on the inner side. Exactly the same on the other side. One side straight, one side curve. On the middle you don't have any holes as we have it on the sides. Now we're gonna have a six drawer rails. Three of them are left, they mark CL. And three of them are right, they mark CR. They're gonna go on the right side. Let's do the right side first. So you have at the bottom two holes and we're gonna go with the first hole on the top of the wheel in the top hole. So this is gonna be the bottom drawer rail at the back we have one hole only for the second and third one we have just one hole at the front so just place the rail on it and one at the back exactly the same for third one just one hole on the front side one hole at the back for the other side at the bottom two holes so the top hole lining up with the top hole on the top of the wheel and same at the back as we did it on the other side Exactly with the second and the third rail, just position them on the right holes at the front and at the back before we're gonna secure them. You're gonna have those screws, you see the shape of the head is kind of triangle shape. Place one screw at the front and one screw at the back. If you pick any other screws with the round heads, they're gonna stick out, you're not gonna be able to slide the drawers in, so correct screws. At the side exactly the same, secure each rail with the two screws and secure them completely in so the heads are not sticking out so you're not gonna have a problem when you're gonna slide the drawers in now we're gonna have the legs different between them is this side is kind of rectangle shaped and is smaller and this side is square and is slightly bigger so we're gonna go with the bigger one with the square shape bottom position the side panel this way and this one coming at the bottom of the side panel slide it in in the corner all the way in. Once you're in, you're gonna do exactly the same with the other side. Just slide it in completely. Now we're gonna have those two holes here and you're gonna need two of these screws with a round head. See the drive is slightly different than on the previous screws. And secure the legs at the bottom one on each side. On the top, we're gonna use this one with kind of rectangle squares at the bottom. Slide them in on the top of the side panels, one on one side, other one on the other side, slide it completely in and once you're in we're gonna secure this side as well through those two holes with exactly the same screws as we did at the bottom, secure them completely in. See the entrance on the top of the wheel, this is the front of the rail and this is the back of the rail back panel is coming in this way position it exactly the same as i have it here there is cut out on the back panel on the top and they're gonna slide in nicely in the cutouts in the side panels so watch out how they're coming together the left and right on the top so you see they coming nicely in together on one side and exactly the same on the other side that's how you secure the back panel with the side panels on the top and at the bottom it's coming in this way have a look at the bottom how is it done just like that once you're in you're gonna secure it on each side this way just bend this kind of locking system down on one side and bend this on the other side as well it's gonna lock the back panel in now we're gonna have a four wheels they're coming here just secure it and finish it with the key which i can provide in a back we're gonna do exactly the same for all four wheels. Last one, same thing, secure it just by hand, once you're at the end, secure it with the key, finish it with the key. Now we're gonna have the top panel, 
and the top panel I have on one side kind of square shape on the other side is slightly cut here on the inner side you have these four openings at the bottom is wider on the top is slimmer or thinner so we're gonna go with the wider opening and then we place the top panel between the side panels in the wider opening it's gonna come in nicely this way and once you're in just slide it back and that's how we lock the top panel with the side panels in place now on the top we have this locking system again just bend it in on one side to lock the top panel and exactly the same on the other side just bend this piece in and the top panel is locked in place not the best system in the world but that's what we have and we have the frame ready now we're gonna do the drawers you're gonna have three left and three right drawers three back panels door handles few screws and three front panels one with the lock with the key on the inner side and two plain ones we have three bottom panels so let's take one I'm gonna show you one drawer all the rest is the same so position it exactly the same as I'm gonna do it here you see this bent part here is closer to you now we're gonna have two side panels at the moment the wheels is at the front closer to you one is dr drawer right and other one dl drawer left so now turn it this way so the wheel is towards me now and get into those three hooks one on each side one on the middle and just slide the drawer in to the bottom panel exactly the same on the other side position it this way and slide it in to those three hooks so the wheels are closer to me now now we're gonna have this u-shape back back panel on the one side you have the hole on the other side plane so the side with the hole going down and slide it in between those three panels once you're in secure the back panel by twisting those two locks at the bottom in just bend them in as i mentioned it's not the best system and the same on the sides one on each side just bend it in they're not the best system but it is what it is so let's work um with what we have front panel one side square one side is slightly cut so the cut side is on the top just push it in this way once you're in you're gonna use those four screws use the four screws with a round head and just secure the front panel with the side panels two screws on each side this is the one without the lock all of the drawers they're gonna be the same regarding the structure drawer handle slide it in secure with two of these screws so all three drawers gonna be the same just gonna show you later on how you lock the drawer place it in this way the wheel go over the wheel once you're in lift it up slightly and close it so this is gonna be the one with the lock it's exactly the same you can have the key on the inner side you see slide it in and secure it two screws on each side so the back with the key is just sticked on the on the middle on the inner side of this uh, drawer with the lock exactly the same place it in wheel over the wheel lift it up slightly close it third one same thing so i have them done just gonna show you how to lock the unit keys on the inner side as i mentioned lock it and you lock this one and the top one bottom one is always open unlock it that's how the systems work so basically when you lock it you lock the top one as well with the with the middle one I think you can reposition them so you can lock two bottom ones and have one top one open. I didn't try that, but I think you can do it. And this is how you assemble IKEA Trotten drawer unit. You can see here in uh, combination in black and under the desk how they look like. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If yes, thumbs up, subscribe to my channels. Always, you will make my day. And see you in my next one very, very soon. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day.